Hi, I'm uh, Valerio Licari and I was born in Rome 42 years ago. I started playing guitar when I was 14 and I remember that a friend of mine showed me his guitar and uh, he told me a simple chord uh, progression. And after 10 minutes playing, I was literally shocked by this new feeling. It was a real magic and uh, I realized that I was falling in love with the guitar. And uh, after a few time, I decided to dedicate my life to music and guitars. When I was 19, I, I made my first electric guitar uh, in my father's garage. Uh, and was being really funny. After a few years, I graduated in musicology. I left Rome and I went to Cremona and enrolled uh, in the International School of Violin Making. There, I learned to make violin, of course, but at the same time, I made uh, four guitars, steel string guitars. After five years in Cremona, I decided to move to go to Spain in Granada to learn more about the traditional techniques of the great guitarreros masters. After almost nine years, I decided to come back to Italy and open my workshop uh, in Torino. Now here I am making my own guitars and uh, and teaching guitar making in the Luthery Academy here in town. The guitar I'm showing today is the synthesis of my past experiences. The structure is very close to the contemporary classical guitar made in Granada today and it's inspired by Antonio Marin Montero's guitars with some personal details. The Rosette inlay is inspired by the wall decorations of the Cathedral of Florence. The soundboard is made of uh, spruce, Italian spruce from uh, Val di Fiemme. It's the same place in which Stradivari got wood for his violins. The bracing is very traditional and uh, it has a fun made of five bars and it's a very light structure. Back and sides are made of uh, Indian rosewood, neck Honduran cedar and the neck is reinforced by a carbon fiber bar in the middle and uh, it makes the neck stronger and more uh, stable. The peg head is a tribute to Pietro Gallinotti, one of the most important guitar makers, Italian guitar makers of the 20th century. And it lived not far from here. For this reason, I uh, decided to dedicate uh, my homage to him. About strings, uh, it's very hard to find the right compromise for all musicians. Uh, it's a very subjective choice. In any case, I used the Dario strings. I mixed the uh, XT nylon set with a carbon G string. I do believe the response is very balanced with the tones rich of harmonics. They are extremely in tune, durable, affordable and realable. That's all it takes to make good strings.